talk about one of our less proficient allies. I like to think they can hold on to the light, as is so fond of saying. Let's get into it. The FBI's Unusual Incidents Unit, the UIU, should serve as a cautionary tale of what happens when a government tries to handle the anomalous, but thinks they can do it on a budget. The UIU was born out of the spiritual craze of the 1930s, mostly in reaction to the events of the Seventh Occult War, as part of a pan-species psychic reaction to the events of that uncertain time. It was a pet project of J. Edgar Hoover during the transition from the BOI to the FBI, following the Hoover mandate where the federal government would allow that the three Portlands would retain its autonomy, so long as Hoover's boys still had jurisdiction. So, maybe it was doomed from the start. The U.S. government's response to most issues is to create a task force, and it would be the UIUs to sort out these unusual incidents, which immediately inundated a ragtag group of agents with barely any resources and lacking training to do so. The early years were marked by major, near-catastrophic blunders, with agents running headlong into incidents they, frankly, were never going to be able to handle. And yet, we have to give them this. They persisted. Sometimes with our help, but they have their victories. If you have time, check out the Foundation's archives on this one agent in the basement of the Hoover building in D.C. Talk about failing upwards. No one can second-guess their dedication. I'll tell you what, they love their country. They back their people to a fault. And in a way, they like the Foundation's younger sibling. They understand, generally, what's really going on. They just can't figure out how to survive. The UIU is the place idealism and virtues crucify each other. They hate us for our secrets. And the shadows we live in are a disguise instead of realizing that what we do is to protect. Today, the UIU is a shadow of its already formerly emaciated selves, underfunded, understaffed, and largely irrelevant. They've been reduced to a handful of elite task forces and support personnel under a kind of operation czar they call Crow. But when it comes to police in the veiled world, fidelity, bravery, and integrity alone won't save you.